G'day legends and welcome back to another episode. Now you'll see I'm sitting in our caravan. Now this episode is to answer all those questions I've been getting about our 12 volt off grid caravan setup. What I've changed, how we stay out for as long as we can because this van's pretty much permanently off grid um, power wise and um, show you what I've changed. So I have changed a few things from factory, not too much but um, yeah. I thought we'll uh, dive into the 12 volt system, get a little bit technical on the channel, and um, I'll show you what's in our uh, caravan for traveling around Australia. So stay tuned, grab a beer like I'm about to, and let's crack in. So I'm down on my hands and knees, and under here is the heart of um, our system, which is our lithium battery. Now I thought I'd start here because it is definitely one um, item that we are changing. We're changing it um, pretty much in the next couple of weeks. It is a 200 amp hour lithium battery. Now, it comes factory with this, so it's under this hatch, I'll show you now. Um, it's, it's going because we wanna run the aircon off grid for some of those remote um, WA trips we're doing. Um, nice little creature comfort to have is aircon, so the 200 amp hour um, battery isn't gonna really keep up with that, even with the solar on the roof, but um, yeah. I'll give you a look now anyway, we'll pop this up and we'll have a bit of a bow peep, but yeah, cracking cracking battery, it's a big sucker, so I've got heaps of room under here when I do go to um, 400 amps, but yeah, you can see there's heaps going on here, there's relays, there's, yeah, there's a smart shunt, so the van runs projector gear, now when we got the van I wasn't too keen on it, um, I've dealt with projector through my line of work and um, it hasn't been good in the past. So I was actually trying to change it out for Red Arc and I'm bloody glad I didn't because um, it's come a long way since I've dealt with Projector and um, yeah, it's it's super, super good gear, but I'll show you more of that as the video goes on. So yeah, it is a Projector system, so keep that in mind. And I've had the van four months and um, we are really, really happy with it. Another mate of mine, good mate of mine, Kreber, um, he has a Robinson, MDC Robinson XTT with a very similar setup and he's dead happy. So if you like me, a little bit iffy on the projector gear, don't be, um, and I'll show you why. So let's jump into the brains over here and I'll show you some of that projector gear. Okay guys, so under our kitchen lounge is all the juicy gear. So it's all of our DC, DC converters, our inverter and our um, 240 charger. So we'll start off with the two um, DC-DC's converters. So they are um, IDC-25Ls. Now that means nothing to anyone, but that's just the model that they are. I've got to run two of them because we've got so much solar. So I'll bring up the um, Projector Smart app and um, now on the screen. And that um, pretty much such a great app. It's through the Smart Shunt near the battery. And um, it pretty much tells you what's going on. So it tells you what's coming in, what's coming out. I've got to run two of these bad boys is because we've got the 650 watts of solar on they are producing quite a um, number of amps so on average the weather that we've had so we've obviously bought the van in um, start of winter but the weather that we've had um, I'm roughly seeing about from 20 amps to 27 30 amps an hour so that's why we need these um, two of these bad boys obviously the 25 means 25 amps so Hence why we've got to have a couple of those. Next to it is the um, 240 charger. That is a 50 amp charger. So if we do plug into 15 amp power, that bad boy there is going to um, give us 50 amps and it's pretty much going to charge that battery from flat in four hours. So super, super handy um, when you're out, you got a shitty day, you can pretty much pull up somewhere couple of hours and you're charged if you don't feel like driving obviously these two DC DC converters charge off the car as well so when I am plugged into the car I've seen probably 48 amps so that's when we're driving from spot to spot I've got um, nearly 50 amps basically going into this battery so from site to site um, if we don't get enough solar during the day when we're day hopping and camping like that on the next drive to the uh, next spot, pretty much going to have fully charged batteries. So, one thing I have changed is the inverter. So, the 
The inverter that came with it was a projector, 1000 watt. It was non-pure sine wave. Now, I won't get too much into that technical side of it because I don't want to bore everyone. I've swapped it out for a 3000, 6000 watt um, kick-ass pure sine wave inverter. So eventually that's going to run some more juicy stuff like the air con um, and whatnot. I've also made it easier where it's got a remote so you can basically just turn it on down here. Inverter fires up and it's super, super easy um, for the missus to use. So she likes using milk frothers and toasters and all that sort of jazz. So that's why we went the bigger, bigger inverter. Um, a thousand watt non-pure sine wave was just struggling. So if you have a look at your toasters and stuff like that, it tells you what wattage, it's, it's average wattage it's gonna use. So most of that sort of stuff, the creature comforts we want in the van um, is quite power hungry. So that's why we upgraded the inverter. So yeah, that's pretty much everything in there. That's why I love this gear. It's so, so simple. It's it's set and forget. And when you don't know what you're doing, you jump on the app and you see what you're doing. So gives you voltages coming in, um, amperage in and out, it, it's super, super good. With the power that we're using, I haven't seen the batteries drop below 60%. I'll zoom around now, in the van, everything's LED, so there's touch LED lights outside in fridge compartments, it's full LED in here, um, both down lights, also LED in the um, skylight for the ensuite. And also behind me, I've got a big, big skylight that's full LED. So the power consumption is basically low. So with all the lights on at night, um, I'm only using about five amps. So you can see why I have, um, haven't got below 60%. And then as soon as the sun comes up, you're seeing 30 amps. So it's cranking back in. But I'll show you what's in here. So this is um, the switchboard and um, yeah, where we turn everything on, off, and it's also got another screen which links to a our 240 charger. So yeah, I'll show you that now, guys, and then we'll jump down below where there is also another projector screen, which is basically an image of your phone, but yeah, let's get going. Okay, so in our cupboard here, and I'll show you another shot, another angle, we've got our switch panel. We've also got our screen for our ICL 5000 now. Basically, that just means that it's a 50 amp charger. So when we plug into 240, 15 amp, we've got 50 amps pumping in. We've got a little screen here where you can see voltages. Obviously, we're not plugged in yet, but you can see everything that's going on via with the 240. So you can see what the 240 is putting in. Um, all of our switches are here. So we've got outlets, fridge, water pumps, water heater, diesel heater, spare, and to the right hand side, we've got an electronic water gauge, which is inaccurate. <laughs> um, I can't get them full. If you can get your water tanks full and to read full on the gauge, let me know, but it's a gauge. I, I sort of know what's going on. We sort of monitor the water coming in, so we sort of know where we're at literage wise. I am gonna put a meter on the van, but yeah, that'll be in a separate video. So yeah. That's basically it, super simple. Anyone can use it. Kids turn on the water pump, turn it off, da 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 da. The screen here is only for being on 240. So we'll jump down, we'll have a look at the off-grid screen, I call it, um, and I'll show you that, guys. So let's go. Okay, so you're gonna hear some of that lovely Perth weather at the moment. It is blowing a gun. I'm sitting on the step of the van um, because the BM500 um, screen and kit is, is basically here. So it's just below the stereo and a few other switches for the roof and the awning. Um, this screen here is basically a, a mirror image of your phone. So I actually leave it off um, because I just use the phone. So basically the BM500-BT means it's just a, a Bluetooth monitor. So. But yeah, through the screen, you can see what your battery's at, how long it is um, until it's discharged, what percentage is at, what amperage is coming in or out. So it's basically a mirror image of that awesome projector app um, that we've been using. Um, but yeah, it's full stereo in it. Everything's electric and go back and have a look at the other video that we've done. Um, you'll see that there's an electric awning on it. The roof is electric. It's pretty much why we bought it all. But yeah, so that is that's that kit. 
I'll take you around the outside of the van, show you some of the um, LED lighting. Um, maybe that's what you want to upgrade to. Um, mine is also all dual colored lighting outside, so it's either white or yellow, so it's a pretty good option. But yeah, let's go have a look at some of this and then uh, we'll wrap it up. So I'll run you around the outside of the van. It's got all touch um, lighting in it, so in fridge hatches, um, generator hatch, stuff like that. Sort of 12 volt related, we run, we're run. we running the 85 litre Mike Kuhlman fridge, did come with the van, it is the second one I've had, um, the first one didn't get cold. Um, with your fridges, you've got two um, options in the van, you can either run a, a C, standard CE plug or a 50 amp ando, because I haven't had great luck with the first fridge, I haven't decided to cut the plug off and put it to an ando, that's probably going to happen very soon. Moving around, we've got um, all touch lighting all throughout the um, cupboards, I suppose you call them storage cupboards and TV hatches. Um, also outside the van, it's got all dual colored lighting. So I think it's one of the best features of the van. You can have it orange or white, depending on what situation you're in, depending how the bugs are. If the bugs are looking like they're about to carry you off um, to another camp, we flick it to orange and that goes right around the van. So there's, I think three or four of those. Um, also outside the van, obviously on top I've mentioned there's 650 watts of solar, that is three 150s and two 100 panels. I'll give you a bit of a drone shot so you can see the roof is quite busy, there's no real options to put um, any other solar on the roof, um, and there's no real benefit to changing them to lighter panels um, to get those slimline panels um, on core flute. They sort of don't really like being on caravans. They heat up and less efficient. So I'll keep the standard um, glass aluminium frame panels on until the technology of those slim line panels comes um, a long way and they're efficient when hot. Um, inside the van, there's obviously 12 volt ports everywhere. There's LED lights everywhere for everyone. Um, we haven't been able to fill every charge port. There's USB ports. It, it's got all the fruit like that, like pretty much all the standard vans would probably have. And that's about it, I think, guys. So just a little overrun of um, the 12 volt system. When we do change to 400 um, amps on the battery system, we are gonna obviously run the um, Truma aircon, which uh, does chew it. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Apart from that, the factory system, I can't tell you how good it is and how easy it's been to use. The missus gets on the app as well and just to double check what's going on, making sure we're not going to run out of power. But yeah, we, ha we haven't yet and I don't think we ever will. So if you're looking at getting an MDC van and you're a bit iffy about the projector system or if you're thinking about upgrading a 12 volt system in an older van and you're looking at the projector system, oh, I'm not paid. There's no affiliation with projector or anything like that. Um, this is my honest opinion. I run Red Arc in my patrol and, and I like that, but yeah, I'm dead impressed with um, the projector gear. So if it is a cheaper option, highly recommended by me. Who am I? No one probably, but um, yeah, you might uh, take my advice on board. So anyway, guys, I'll wrap it up. Hopefully the weather in Perth um, turns it on because um, we've got a wildflower trip at the end of the month we're going to take you guys on so stay tuned for that a couple other trips planned little boys trips little 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 couple of challenges i've got planned with some of the uh dnl crew so yeah stay tuned guys thanks for watching hopefully you got sank out of it if not hopefully you've just had 20 minutes having a beer and chilling out watching me caravan so see you out on the tracks guys like and subscribe all that jazz get some merch See you on the next one.